I am researching underwater sound and looking at the whole orchestra of what is going on in the Haroki Gulf here in New Zealand. Um, I listen to everything really that's going on in this massive body of water we have off the coast of Auckland. Fish um, that make popping sounds, um, urchins, they make a crackling, crunching noise when they feed, boat noise, which of course when it comes through, sometimes it's very, very loud, sometimes quiet, depending on the distance from our equipment. I'm recording every 20 minutes, and because of that, I can understand what's going on both in the day and also at night, so we can't go out um, necessarily at night on a boat and see the animals, um, even if you're underwater, and, but we can still hear them. And that's the whole reason that sound is important. Um, we, um, these animals use sound when they're underwater to basically see what's going on. Instead of using their eyes, they use their ears. Um, one thing that is really important here in the Gulf is we are increasing our input of sound in the ocean. Similar to if a person is walking along the road and they hear a construction site you might want to cross to the other side of the road. You might not want to stay next to that drill that's going on. And that may be exactly what's happening with fish or whales. Um, they may move away from that area for a certain amount of time. They may have physical impacts. Um, their hearing structures in their ears may be damaged, either permanently, which is, of course, not what we want, or temporarily, um, whether that be for seconds, minutes, hours, or even days or months, which, of course, is the most concern.